Welcome to the Simply Listed tutorial for hardcover notebooks. In this particular example, I'll be showing you how to quickly and easily automate your mockups for the hardcover journals from Printify through District Photo. So here is a beautiful example of what types of mockups you can easily make with Simply Listed. If you're not familiar with what Simply Listed is, it's a mockup automation tool. So you will set up a template one time for your journal. So right here here and I'll show you exactly how to build this and what types of mockups to purchase to make it look realistic like this where it actually has the shadows and the binding on your journal there's just a couple simple steps to make it look really really nice so you'll build this template one time and then you'll be able to reuse this template over and over for different printify products and be able to make as many journals at once as you'd like so getting started with how the design needs to be so one really important thing to know about the hardcover journals is the print area on printify is going to be this big wide print area this entire box when you pull it into simply listed because on printify here that's how they have it is it's the front and the back all at once and so i would recommend designing just like you see here if you click this i button you'll see the total print area size is 40 65 by 28 50. so coming over to canva if we make our canvas that size then we can really quickly and easily design for exactly what is going to be on printify now one thing to really help you make sure you're designing in the right spot is downloading this design template and placing it on your design. So I downloaded that already and you'll be able to see that here in just a moment. I just made it transparent. So it would add your background image and then add this on top of it. So you can download this directly from Printify. That way you can see exactly where the binding is, exactly where the front is, and what's going to get cut off being wrapped around the edges. That way your designs will look good right when you upload them to Printify each and every time. And so again, you'd have your background image, this image, and then anything else you want to go over top of it, on top of it. And then when you go to save it, you do just need to remember to click this positions button, grab this layer and then make it fully transparent. That way it won't be saved in your images. Uh, but then now next time you go to make a design here on Canva, you can quickly and easily just use this exact same one. You can duplicate it and just delete the background, upload a new one, but you'll still have this background layer that you can use to help you with your design positioning because that is one limitation that Simply Listed currently has, is your design cannot go outside of this print area. So if you make a design that's larger than this, so like here, if you see this like green going outside of the print area, then that won't work with how our system works. So your design nets does need to be either this size or smaller for us to be able to accurately make the mockups for you. And so I would recommend making it this size and just saving your designs that way. Now let's talk about what types of mockups that you need because there's tons of different mockups that you can use, but there's specific ones that will give you that really realistic look without having to use something fancy like Photoshop or PhotoP. I did get the one that I'm using in today's example from creativefabrica.com. It is this one right here uh, from the store, where is it? Printstar XS. And you want these ones that say they're Canva mockups. Canva mockups are going to be perfect since Simply Listed is kind of an automation tool for mockups you would normally make in Canva. But you don't have to use the ones from Creative Fabrica. There are some great ones on Etsy as well. I love this store, Maku POD on Etsy. This bundle right here for $7 gives you 52 different ones. And I've had a great experience with other mockups from this same seller. Here's some examples of what they look like when they're made. So this would be a really great option if you're wanting to do a couple different photos all within the template as well. So let's go back over to Simply Listed and show you how it works to make this template. So I'll just start from the beginning and show you the whole thing. So click Create New Template, select Printify. We're going to do the hardcover journal. And this one right here will come right up and the print provider's district photo, journal, and then here you'll upload that file. So here I have it right here that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica in this instance. Make sure you're downloading the .png file because we need a cutout space in our design. So that's what makes these work. So then you'll click save 
and this will make that the background image that gives us the sizing to know where to put our print area. So once this loads here, you can see this is the transparent part. So that's going to be our background. And then we're going to make a sandwich with this. So trust me, it'll make sense in just a moment. So you'll add your print area, where again, this print area might seem like it's actually the wrong way, um, but it's not. This is the front and the back of the print area. So what I like to do is lower the transparency so I can see really well and then make this the full size of the journal. So we'll make this all the way big, top to bottom. And then we want to use the front. So the front on Printify, so again, we're comparing to Printify, the front is the right side of that print area. And so then we will position this where it covers the full print area. I might overlap it just a tiny bit to make sure it's fully covered. And then we can bring that transparency back up. So the last thing you need to do is upload that image again on top of it. So you'll grab that PNG, but if you see here, I clicked images, and then I'm gonna upload that as the top image as well and click upload. And then I'll click add to center. That way it adds it as the top layer of this design. And once that's overlapped on top of it, you'll see that that mock-up has built-in shadows and the built-in binding to make it look a lot more realistic. And then there you have it. I might have to adjust it. So here I can see the transparent part behind it slightly. And so if I click this, I can see this layered element and then I can select the print area from behind here. And I can see I need to move it over just a little bit. So kind of zoom in and make sure, looks like maybe it needs to be moved up a little bit over here. So we'll do that again. So I might just have to adjust it just a few times to get it just right. Might be that this needs to actually be moved over a tiny bit. Okay, and I think that looks right. So we'll save this. You'd obviously do it for the other pages as well. You'll need to save it and name it. And then you always want to test your template, <clears throat> excuse me, before actually making mock-ups with it because you get, if you're on the $15 per month plan, you get 100 listings worth of mock-ups each month, and those get counted as you create the mock-ups in your approval queue. So until you're sure your template's working right, you do want to test them. So you'd click the three little dots and click test. And this will pull up any products on Printify that match your template. So if you published your journal to Etsy already, then you will probably see it right here. But if you have it saved as a draft in Printify, like this one I have saved as a, bra a draft, I haven't published it to Etsy just yet, then you will have to manually sync it. So you'd click this sync button. So this is gonna be for those of you who are selling on Shopify, Amazon, or TikTok. Products won't get automatically synced to our system until you either click this button or publish it to one of those platforms. So once you have see your product in here, and if after that you still don't see it, then make sure that it is an exact match to the same product on Printify. So click the one that you want to test and click test mockup. And then that's going to grab that design from Printify and put it on your mockup here in Simply Listed. So we'll give that just a moment. And then once you're sure your template is working correctly, you can make as many mockups for it as you like. So the test mockups aren't full resolution, but here, let me zoom in. You can see that it looks actually very realistic with the shading and everything. So I hope this template and this tutorial was super helpful in helping you make your mockups for hardcover journals, but feel free to reach out to our customer support staff over here on the bottom right if you do have any issues or any questions, and we hope you love Simply Listed.